became the first Indian born women to go to space in 1997. Six years later, on 1st February 2003, Kalpana died when the space shuttle Columbia broke upon re entry into the Earth's atmosphere, killing all seven astronauts on board. Kalpana Chawla, Chawla, she lived on since then. My friend, her talent, her hard work is inspiring since then, not only to the young Indian people, but around the globe to everyone. Especially those students, those uh, children who are considering career in space flight. Born in Karnal, a state of Haryana in India on 17 March 1962. To parents Banarsi Lal Chawla and Sanyogti Chawla as the youngest of uh, their children. The name Kalpana means idea or imagination. As a child itself, she developed interest in flying. Only after seeing a plane at the age of three. She spent days with her father, visiting her local flying club and shows greater interest in aviation. After initial schooling days, she obtained her degree in aeronautical engineering from uh, India and then the, she migrated to USA in 1980 to become a natural citizen basically to pursue her studies in aeronautical engineering. She obtained a master degree from University of Texas and also a doctorate in aerospace engineering from the University of Colorado in 1988. She started working while she uh, was finishing her education in NASA's the uh, research center in the same year in 1994. She was selected as an astronaut candidate and she became a crew representative for the astronauts, a great fiat in that tender age. Kalpana was very, very passionate about providing science education uh, opportunities to the young girls in India. And during her time as an astronaut in NASA, she made sure that the NASA invited uh, Chawla secondary school children to take part in their summer space uh, experiences and programs. Each year from 1998 onwards, the school sent to the Foundation of, for the International Space Education to United States uh, located in uh, Houston. Kalpana's first flight came in November 1997 aboard the Space Shuttle Columbia on flight STS-87. The shuttle made 252 orbits to the Earth just within two, be two weeks. She was the mission specialist and prime robotic arm operator for the flight. She used the robotic arm to deploy a satellite, satellite called Spartan 201, which was meant to study the outer layer of the Sun called Corona. In 2000, she was, elect she was selected again for the second voyage into space, STS-107, launched on 16th January 2003. During these 16 days flight of STS-103, uh, the new, the crew completed more than 80 experiments for they were tasked. 
and on that fateful day on the morning of the 1st February 2003 the space shuttle returned to earth intended to land at Kennedy Space Center but as this shuttle passed through earth's atmosphere the hot gases streamed into the sh shuttle's wing and some unfortunate insulators uh, insulator broke damaging the thermal protection of the entire system the un the, un the uh, unstable craft in less than a minute it simply rolled and uh, buckled killing all the crew instantly the shuttle broke up over Texas and Louisiana before plunging into the ground. Kalpana was married to Zine Harrison in 1983 at the age of 21. Harrison remarried after Kalpana's death and now she runs a publishing company in California. Kalpana has been honored and rewarded by the United States and India both for her exemplary and outstanding work in the space aeronautical engineering. For far many, uh, too many space uh, uh, and the meteorological related missions and programs has been named on her. This is Kalpana Chawla's one name which I am sure each and everyone knows in India. A great lady indeed. Thank you very much.